Many kids counting down the days until summer break, but the mustard seed is already getting ready for back to school by raising money for families in need. The nonprofit Souls for Souls fundraiser is underway all month, and as Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, you can run, walk, or hike to help. Longtime mustard seed volunteer Therese Fry is doing a lot of walking this month. We try to walk at least six to eight K a day. And she's pounding the pavement for a good cause to raise money for the nonprofit's big back to school fundraiser. I wasn't always financially secure, but I had an incredible friends network and they let me stay in their basement suite and they helped me with my things and uh, not everybody is that fortunate. So I think that's a good way to pay back. The Mustard Seed Souls for Souls Challenge is aiming to raise $20,000 to buy runners for kids as part of the Fair Start program, which helps hundreds of low-income families every year. It's incredibly expensive for kids to go back to school now. So kids are getting a backpack, runners, a gift certificate, for usually a local grocery store, and um, of course the school supplies that come prepackaged. What do you yeah, think? That's another one. I think glitter. Yeah. Six hundred families are being helped this year, up from four hundred just two years ago, as more and more people struggle. It's only right that at the beginning of the school year, that every kid has a fair start. You can tackle the June challenge on your own, like Pastor Chris Pollock, who spent last weekend running up Mount Tommy twenty-five times. <laughs> or as a team, like this group from Advanced Solutions, it's free to register and you can walk, run, or hike your way to the 200 kilometer goal. It's a fun thing, you know, you can just get a group of 10 or 20 people together and do 10 kilometers, and there you go, ask for 10 or 20 bucks from everybody and you've got your $200. We try to be as community oriented as possible. Once again, Front Runners is getting all the shoes for a very reduced cost and matching donations up to $1,000 so the money raised can go even further. We are uh, supported by the community and see what we like to give back. Um, and youth are definitely the future. Um, and so making sure that they have uh, a fair chance to be active and, and stay healthy, it really makes a difference in the community. Therese has already raised more than $1,700 for the challenge. She just basically goes up to everybody and asks for money and tells them what she's participating in. And she's our, one of our great kitchen volunteers, so to do this on the side is wonderful. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Therese has been a mustard seed volunteer for 18 years, and for her, it's all about giving back and making a difference, one step or kitchen shift at a time. I think it makes it a better community, and the more we help each other, the better the world and our community is. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.